Okay, so, so far, you don't have to turn your packet, but we're on page 27. So far, all the ones that we've done have all been straight lines, right? All the graphs that you've created have all been straight lines. Today, we're going to be looking at graphs that are not necessarily straight lines. Is there a proportional relationship? So we're going to discover when there is a proportional relationship and when there is not. So first thing it says, plot the points on the graph. So go ahead and plot these points on this graph. Remember, this is x and this is y. Go ahead and plot them. Now, there's some rulers in the uh, first person's desk, so go ahead and pass those back. It is extremely important that you plot these and graph them and connect them with a ruler. Connect using a ruler. It doesn't work if, they're, if it doesn't have a ruler. Thank you, John. Thank you. All right. So there's two questions you have to answer. Does the graph go through the origin? Wait a minute. What does the origin mean? Does anybody know where the origin is located? The origin is zero, zero. Okay? Origin is right there. Okay? So the origin is zero, zero. So did our graph go or start at zero, zero? Yeah, it did. Right there. Is the graph a straight line? Where did you curve? What would 5 be? 10. Is it a straight line? Yeah. It is a straight line. It is extremely important that you use the ruler for this. So, did you answer yes to both of these questions? Yes. So that means that it is proportional. It is a yes. It's proportional. You must have a graph that starts at the origin and a straight line in order for it to be called proportional. Now, I didn't ask you this, but I want you to tell me. The unit rate. How do you know it's two? It's the one, right? Here's another way you can figure it out. What did you multiply to two to get to four? What did you multiply three to get to six? What did you multiply four to get to eight? And what did you get to multiply could. If it's all the same going straight down, it's proportional. If at any time this number changes, then it's not proportional. Got it? All right, let's graph the second one. Graph the second one. Connect using a ruler. Connect dot by dot. Does the graph go through the origin? Well, I made it go through the origin, right? So that would be a yes. Because the, is the graph a straight line? No. Do you see the obvious curve, right? Even though I used a ruler and I connected dot by dot, you see right here that it's not a straight line. So is it proportional? 
no. As soon as one of these is a no, then your whole thing is a no, okay? Your whole graph is a non-proportional graph, basically. Now, here's how another way you can tell. What did I multiply 1 to get to 3? Times 3. But if I multiply 2, do I get, uh, do I, if I multiply 2 times 3, do I get 6? Yes. If I multiply 5 times 3, do I get what I'm supposed to get? No, I'm supposed to get 15. That's another way to determine if it's proportional. Because, hey, I'm telling you it's times 3 times 3, and then all of a sudden it doesn't work. That's another reason why it's not proportional. Okay? All right. Ooh, number three. What's different about number three? There's decimals. I would start by plotting this one and this one for sure. And then kind of estimate where these go. All right. Does the graph go through the origin? Yes. Is the graph a straight line? Yes. So is it proportional? Yes. So if it's proportional, then you can actually tell me what the unit rate is. What's the unit rate? Where do you look at for the unit rate? X has to be 1. X has to be 1. Whatever Y is, that's your unit rate. So what's your unit rate? 4. Even though on the table we start with 0.5, that's not your unit rate. 2 is not your unit rate. It's whatever 1 is. So this is, it's there to trick you. So your unit rate is 4. If you have four stacks of 50 cents, so 50 cents, 50 cents, 50 cents, 50 cents, how much money do you have? Two dollars. 50 cents times four is two dollars. A dollar fifty plus a dollar fifty plus a dollar fifty plus a dollar fifty, six dollars. Two fifty plus two fifty plus two fifty plus two fifty, ten. This one's easy to see. Times four. All of these are times four. They're hard to see because they're decimals, but they are times four. All right? All right, do number four. Good. Quickly. All right, does it go through the origin? Yes, because you kind of make it go through the origin. But is it a straight line? No. See how it curves? So is it proportional? No. As soon as you say no to one of them, boom, you're done. Now here, how do I get from 1 to 2 times 2? But 3 times 2, is that 5? No, it's six. So right there, you know there's something wrong, okay? Because you also, and we're we're doing this tomorrow. You'll see this as long as the, as soon as one of them does not match, you're done. All right. Any questions? 
So what are the two things you have to look for? Straight line and no, on the graph, on the graph. So is it a straight line and does it go through the origin? You have a quiz on Wednesday. Guess what are the two things I'm going to ask you? What makes a graph proportional? What two things? Straight line and origin. Got it? Yes, Mr. Malley. Oh, good, good, I'm glad. All right, I'm going to have you skip a couple pages and go to page... 35. As you can see here, it's basically the same thing. Go ahead and start at number one. Hopefully you're done graphing. All right. Does it go through the origin? No. Is it a straight line? Yes. It is a straight line, but it doesn't go through the origin. So is it proportional, yes or no? No. Can you tell me a unit rate? No. Are you telling me that 0 times 3 is 2? No. 0 times 2 is 2? 0. Right. No. Anyways, yeah. But there is no unit rate. When it's not proportional, there's no unit rate. Okay? In the equation, you actually get to learn in 8th grade. There is an equation for this line, but in seventh grade, we don't learn it. We only learn it if it's proportional, so we're going to skip that. All right, go ahead and do number two. Plot the points. All right. Does it does the graph go through the origin? Is it a straight line? Is it proportional? So if it's proportional, you can tell me the unit rate. Good. Very good. Good job. You got 1.5. Good job. Now, how did you get 1.5 though? Huh? So no, I want someone who knows. So, how did you know it's 1.5? What is it? Yeah, divided by 3. Or divided, 3 divided by 2? Here. When you don't, when you don't see the 1, because given the 1 is very easy. When you don't see it, you take any of these numbers and you divide. You put y inside, write this down, and x outside, write this down. Michael, what number goes inside? Please focus. What number goes outside? 
All right. So how many times is two going to three? One. That's two. Remainder one. Decimal. Add the zero. Bring it down. How many times is two going to ten? Five. So that means that your unit rate is 1.5. What's your equation? Good. Now I'm going to show you the advanced way of writing this. Your unit rate is 3 over 2. Where did I get that from? Table. The y divided by x. Your equation, y equals 3 over 2x. What looks more complicated? This one, right? Guess what? They're exactly the same thing. But if you see this, you might go, oh wow, it's too hard, I can't do it. Well, no, just divide it. 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. Your unit rate is 1.5. Alright?